What's up, fellas? Welcome back to the seminar. So today, what I want to talk to you guys about is the most important thing that I learned in dating throughout my whole cheek slang, demolition, and carnages. And the most important thing that I learned is being able to find a life outside of women, a life outside of dating, finding your purpose, your hobbies, something that you love to do because this is going to bring you fulfillment and happiness in life, not seeking woman validation. Because I get bombarded with questions every single day about guys asking me, I'm in, I'm in a serious drought, I haven't slayed cheeks in 10 years, I'm 24 years old and I'm still a virgin. What do I do? So the first thing I teach these guys is I don't teach them to approach 100 girls, talk to every single thing that has a coochie on it. So what I do is I tell them to take a break from a woman for a month or a few months or two and just focus on yourself. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get these guys out of a mindset of scarcity where they need to stop seeking woman validation for happiness. I want them to find fulfillment in their life first. So I want them to be happy single first. Let me repeat that. I want them to be happy single first before they go out and get a girl. And in order to have that fulfillment, you need to find your purpose and hobbies and a life outside of women. Because let me tell you this, if you're not happy single and if you go out and get a girl, you cannot pass all her shit tests. She cannot respect you. So she, you, you're going to lose her anyways because you're such in a mindset of scarcity. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to the root of the problem because I'm a personal trainer. I cannot teach you how to squat if your lumbar spine is fucked up. What I have to do is I have to correct your lumbar spine. How can you expect to squat with good form when you have a bulging disc in your lower back, when you have an herniated disc? Because we will never get anywhere with bad form. We must correct what's wrong first. So that's what I'm trying to do with these guys. I'm trying to get you out of a mindset of scarcity because if you have a scarcity mindset and, and if you still go out and approach women, you know, anybody can play the numbers game. Everybody can go out and talk to girls, but if you have a scarcity mindset and when she she goes on a date with you, you're afraid to lose her. You can't pass her shit test, so you're going to lose her anyways because you're not in a state of abundance because the abundance mindset comes from having fulfillment with your purpose and your hobbies and having a life outside of women where you don't need women's validation because you can always depend on your purpose because as a man, guys, we have this void. We feel like something is missing. We feel incomplete. And some of us, guys, we feel that void by getting into relationships. We seek women validation for happiness. We get into relationships after relationships. You know, guys, I've slayed all the chiefs. I've talked to a lot of girls, man. You can have all the girls you want, but it will never be enough. Like, you can never be happy because, like, you can never find happiness with women. You might think it does, but it doesn't because I was never happy when I was in relationships after relationships because true happiness comes within you finding your purpose you finding fulfillment and when you have that fulfillment it, it just puts you in a state of abundance women i don't give a fuck because if i get rejected by a girl man i have my purpose i can rely on i have fulfillment i have hobbies i have a life outside of women because it puts you in a state of abundance where you stop caring about these bitches and when you stop caring results just come because when you have an I don't give a shit attitude, you can speak your mind. You're not afraid to stand up to women. You know, you, you just don't give a fuck and women are naturally drawn to that because the abundance mindset, it just comes from confidence. This is why I always tell you guys, always work on the self-improvement. Always find a purpose. Always find ways to level up because not only when you're on your purpose and you do what you love to do, bro, it makes you fucking money. This is why I always tell you guys to be grinding every single fucking day. Do you think I just pull this out of my asshole because it sounds cool? Get on your purpose, get on your purpose, get on your purpose because if you're grinding every fucking single day, if you're on your purpose, what is going to happen is it's going to make you successful. And when you start to become successful, what this is going to bring is social status. This is going to bring social proof. Female have pergamy one-on-one. -on -one. When you have social status, when you have social proof, you're going somewhere in life, you're going to be successful. And all these girls are, want, are going to want to jump on your banana boat. You don't got to wife them, but it gives you the opportunity to smash, smash and dash, ejaculate and evacuate, slay the cheeks and have her go take a peek, whatever. Because if you are bitter, if you do not want to start with a self improvement if you do not want to self-improve yourself female hypergamy is 
against you. This is why you have, you have those incels. This is why you have all those bitter red pills, guys. But what I teach over here, man, use female hypergamy against you because do you think Drake would be sleeping the models he's sleeping with if he was a construction worker? Do you think Drake would be smashing all the girls he's smashing if he was a pizza man at delivering pizzas at Pizza Hut? Do you think girls want to sleep with Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio if they found out he was picking up horse shit for a living? All of these girls want to sleep with these guys because these guys are successful. They have social proof. All the other girls want him. So women are all like groupies. Once they see one girl like you, man, all of them want you. So if you get on your purpose, if you start to become successful, watch, listen to me good and listen to me clear. Remember that hot girl in high school that with big titties, a nice fat ass, that girl that never gave you the time of day? You didn't want me before, but now all of a sudden I start to become successful. Now you want me? Oh, it's time for you to bend over, drop them drawers, because it's time for me to slay a lot of cheese. And you better best believe that you are going to charm and suck this cobra the whole night. It's time for you to drain the snake, because this is what purpose is going to give you. It's going to give you options, because you have social status. And when you start with the self-improvement it's going to give you confidence you feel good you look good and confidence comes from an abundance mindset where you don't give a fuck because when you stop caring results come this is why i always tell you guys to really work on yourself start with the self-improvement because when you are on your purpose when you find something that you love to do you don't even have time to think about girls you just so focused on your purpose because guys i train in the morning i do skype sessions i put clients on diet programs, I design training programs, and I do YouTube. I don't have time for these girls. So these girls are wondering, well, how come this guy's, he doesn't text me back with the rest of these guys because I don't have time for that shit because I'm on my purpose. They know that I'm going somewhere in life because being on your purpose is going to take you all the things that do not even matter. Just thinking about fucking nonsense because when you're on your purpose, you found fulfillment, you found happiness because guys, I've been with a lot of girls. I've been with all the finest girls, big ass titties, nice fat ass. I've lived it. I've lived it. I've been that. You've seen all these videos. You've seen all the girls I've been with, but that did not really bring me like my happiness. I still have a void and I found just happiness and fulfillment being on my purpose. And that's what you guys need to do. Like stop seeking validation from women for happiness because happiness comes within because when you're on your purpose, you're just so focused and you're just, you master the ability to be alone. And when you master the ability to be alone by being on your purpose, you find happiness within yourself because in order to be successful with women, you need to learn how to be happy single first because that is the root of everything. For example, basketball. If you want to shoot good like Stephen Curry, you cannot shoot the basketball like a fucking shot put. You have to work on the mechanics, elbows in, shoot the same thing every single time because if you shoot like a fucking shot put, what kind of technique is that? So that's what I try to get these guys to do is to able to get them out of the scarcity mindset where they can be fulfilled in life first, where they can find a purpose, where they can find fulfillment, where they don't, where they don't seek female validation for happiness. Because, because a lot of people, man, they, they, they just seek external things for happiness. They seek female, female validation. They just care way too much about what people think about them. But when you're on your purpose, you just don't give a fuck about all that. It puts you in a level of abundance where you, man, I'm on my purpose. That's all I'm focused on. And that's all you should be focused on. You should be only focused on yourself. Because when a woman knows that you have a life outside of her, that's attractive because you don't put her on a pedestal. Therefore, she's always fighting for your time. You're, you're just so mysterious because you're on your purpose. You don't have time to text back. You don't put her on a pedestal. So this is why it's going to make you successful because naturally women are drawn to guys with who are mysterious guys who have masculine energy guys with ambition this is why purpose is everything it fixes everything like it's gonna be, it's gonna work on it's gonna build its confidence it's gonna give you that abundance mindset where you just don't give a fuck because I don't care if a girl rejects me because I know that I have my purpose and I know that I'm going somewhere in life. Do you not see this fucking empire I'm building? Man, you should be lucky that I'm talking to you. And if you don't, man, I don't give a fuck because I'm on to the next. Abundance mindset. You gotta learn how to be happy single first. I think that's the ultimate goal is to be able to find fulfillment. It's to be able to find purpose. It's to be able to find mission, hobbies, friends, living a life of social abundance because you don't... You just have a life outside of women because when you are in scarcity, when you don't have fulfillment, you put women on a pedestal, and that is that is what you're gonna that is what is that is what is going to put you in that scarcity mindset 
where you're afraid, where you're scared to lose her, where you can't stand up to her, where you can't pass a shit test, that is going to put you in a scarcity, just a scarcity beta mindset where you're just, oh my God, please, I'm so lucky to talk to you. Oh my God, you're so awesome, please like me. Where you can't stand up to her. A woman loves a man who can stand up for himself, a backbone. That's why she shit tests. She shit tests a man because his confidence, to see what his sexual market is value, value like. This is probably the best dating video I ever made because it all boils down to self-improvement because once you find that happiness within yourself, once you connect with your mind, spirit, and soul from the self-improvement and discovering yourself, finding passion, finding fulfillment, because once you connect with yourself, you can connect with other people hella easily. Like, that is, this is the secret to dating, guys, is to find happiness within yourself because what's the number one thing that's holding a man down? They have this void, they have insecurities, but once you find that fulfillment, you find that shit within yourself, you accept yourself, you've, you've, done, it, you've done the work with the self-improvement, like I tell you guys too, man, just watch. Just watch, just mark my words. You're gonna thank me later, man. So fellas, this is the coldest and the best dating advice I can give to you guys in the most realest video I ever made. So, fellas, I hope this helped. Guys, let's go on this journey together. Don't forget to work on the self-improvement. Be grinding every fucking single day. You see me. I'm trying to upload these videos every single day, guys. And I'm training clients every single day. But, man, hard work, masculine energy. We rise through the challenges. Abundance mindset. Hard work, dedication, man. Every single day we put in the work. That's the model to life. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And comment down below what you guys want to hear next.